But I don't hear Robert anymore. Uh, I'm here. Okay, I'm just, all right. Yeah, I'm Let's go live. Okay. okay, awesome. awesome. How do I pronounce your name, Robert? Uh, purchase. Purchase. All right. Yeah. All right, people are clapping in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We got a lift off. <laughs> all right, are we live? Yeah, like hello everybody, I'm here with Robert Purchase from Eurogamer and we're going to be playing a billet of Divinity Original Sin. Divinity Original Sin has launched uh, today, uh, I guess most of the people in the stream are downloading. Uh, there has been much rejoicing in the office and clapping because we finally got the sound going. Our apologies for that, uh, but we'll try to make it worth your while. Uh, I'm going to let myself be led by Robert, basically. Uh, <laughs> You're brave. I am, but uh, you've only played the game for a couple of hours, so I think that uh, you're going to discover more about the game than I, game than I am, hopefully. Uh, so uh, I guess that we should just uh, start and uh, see where we go. Is that your uh, permanent choice for a character? Yes, I will go with, uh, go with my witch, who looks a bit like Princess Leia. Hello! <laughs> everyone, by the way. It looks like lots of people are getting some uh, big echo, judging by the comments. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some echo, but uh, given the amount of misery that we've had in uh, setting things up, I'm afraid of touching it, otherwise we might risk uh, having another uh, half an hour of stream not working. Uh, yeah. I'm seeing that people are saying it's more or less okay. Uh, so, uh, we have, yeah, well. They're complaining a little bit about the echo, but we should be okay. I just hope that we still have a connection here. There we go. Okay, I think I propose we skip the cutscene. Yeah, yeah, skipping, skipping that. that. Yeah, we jump right into the action. And uh, you have no idea how I'm crossing my fingers that the game doesn't act weird or starts crashing or uh, something along those lines. Okay, so just to test it's working, I'll just test this spell on you. All right. Uh, we are on the front page of Twitch, by the way, Robert, so act professional. Like okay, <laughs> act professional. <laughs> so, uh, Sven, today is, uh, is a big day for you guys. You've been working on this game for, for two yes, that's years and, and today. How are you guys feeling? To be honest, uh, it's a mixed uh, emotion. Uh, we are a bit tired, obviously, because we've been working hard these last days. And uh, we're nervous, we're anxious to see what people are going to think about it. Uh, we pretty much know what they think about the first part of the game, but we have no clue what they'll think about the other two-thirds or the three-fourths of the game that has now been released on Early Access. So it's, uh, yeah, nervous, I guess, is the biggest word. Uh, but uh, also proud, actually, of, of the thing that we have accomplished, because we're, we're a small team and uh, we think this is a very big game for us. Do you still hear me? I, don't I, I do, sorry, sorry I'm just, uh, just replying in the, in the chat there. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'll let you pick up the... You should take the rain scroll. And do you want to go into the co-op dialogue for people who haven't seen it yet? If I pick Oh, up yes. One. Let's do that, so I can disagree. I'm, I sent you a uh, book. So if you read that book, you can press I to open your inventory. Okay. <laughs> And I'm telling you that uh, if you can believe that this man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues. Okay. Everyone needs to have a leap of faith. I agree with that, actually. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be developing games, so I'm going to say true enough. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Very bad. We're both romantic. Antic, romantic. okay. Romantic. Freedom. Okay. Right, I propose we go into our first fight. And we're having a little bit of lag here. Some people are saying the echo has gone. Yeah, I've seen uh, our, um, our technician uh, do all kinds of things and uh, he says the Aha! echo should be gone. So they have redeemed themselves. Ooh, fantastic. Curse Hello, everyone. Source hunters. No, okay, 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 okay. I'll just shake. I'll deal with these rats. Goddess, be with you, master. Did you hear any voice? Yes. Yes, it is. We just added voices to the game. It was one of the reasons why Rise. we played the game a little bit. Arise. Fantastic. Drawn forth from blood. I bid you aid me. 
So let's talk a bit about um, the origins of this game. So a lot of people think uh, this game was uh, solely funded on Kickstarter, but in fact you'd done a lot of work before. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we uh, on this game. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm just, I have a little bit of noise. Uh, I have a little bit of noise, but it's okay now. Uh, we started uh, doing um, the Kickstarter. Hold on, I'm just thinking what I'm going to do. Walk on shadows and walk behind that guy. Uh, when we went to Kickstarter, we had a game which was going to be a much smaller game, but a nice RPG, and it was going to be one of the first RPGs that we uh, published uh, independently. Of the then the Kickstarter obviously and then the Steam Early Access was also a big success. And then as a result, uh, we just made a much bigger game than we expected uh, we were going to make. So all of that. Uh, yeah, made it into what we, we're shipping today. I'm lowering the sound a little bit because I, I'm not sure about the stream, but I was having plenty of sound in, in, in my ears, which made it hard to understand you. Okay. How many people um, are you at Larian Studios? We're currently uh, we're at Larian. We're about 35. Okay. And uh, we have uh, a couple of freelancers helping us out also, and uh, we use uh, some outsourcing companies. So uh, it's not a small project, but considering the amount of content, it is still uh, a very small team for such a large project. Um, and is this the only project that you're working on now? Uh, it is for the moment, actually. And the. Um, once we've shipped Dragon Commander, everybody jumped on the original sim and we said, okay, we're going to do. The maximum that we can on this game. The leader said something so about escaping uh, with a stone. What we've been doing. Stolen from this dungeon. I Fantastic. Imagine. So everyone was just seeing a bit of the bit of the combat there. Uh, I we made quite a good team, I think. You did very. It was of course also a tutorial combat. Uh, I'm actually. We're in the Maybe we shouldn't do the tutorial. I think you played the game already, right? Yeah. Let's let's uh, get out of here. Let's, let's skip the tutorial. It's just by habit that I uh, I went in here. So uh, we did very very well actually, but it's also a very simple fight. Although there's, we, we've seen people die here already. Uh, the game doesn't hold oh, okay. you by your hands, and it can be brutal if you're not paying attention. Uh, you need to think a little bit. It's very old school in that. So how long is the game? How long was the game in early access for? I think we shipped it there in January, so that would be six months, something like that. Yeah. So what what did you learn through early access? How different is this full version released today? How how different is that? Uh, <laughs> tremendously different. If you would see what we shipped on early access, there's no comparison anymore. Uh, for instance, if um, let's say I'm going to try to bypass these guys here while you're talking to them, they will be angry. So we're going to fight. <laughs> right. I like the style. Uh, so I have them in backstep here now. So uh, just that very reaction that you see here is always part of the vision, the freedom of playing it like a pen and paper RPG. And uh, but we've been able to add so many path, many more pathways than we originally had planned. So that's one of the big differences. And then uh, the other big difference is, of course, in, uh, in the level of polish that's been done, you know, in terms of uh, uh, user interface, accessibility. There's been a really a lot of uh, work done. Um, I guess you're going to do a spell now. So you're yes. probably getting a preview of what's happening with the spell. So that all of that is early access input, basically. And uh, for a there were a lot of ways that we could have done it were easier to do, uh, but uh, this was what was asked by the community, so we're basically doing it. things like previews, little tips, hints, all kinds of feedback that you wouldn't get otherwise unless you have a very gr large group of people. And that has been a, a very a, a big impact. On top of that, of course, uh, I mean, it's a big RPG in which you have a lot of freedom. Um, I always say that you can play the game by killing everybody. That means that uh, we don't know, of course, who you are going to kill. Uh, and we have to make sure that the story always uh, makes sense in such cases. So if you do a couple of replays, uh, you'll find out that there's really a lot of ways that you can play it. And that it always somehow makes sense. But to, to test that out, uh, early access was definitely a very big advantage. So I am personally uh, very happy about the choice to go into early access. I was not 100% sure about doing it at the time. I was talked into it by Brian Fargo, after, uh, uh, actually. And wow, okay. Brian Fargo will be in exile for people who don't uh, 
Don't know. Yeah. Uh, I asked him because I said, I'm unsure about this. He said, no, no, you should definitely do that. And he was 100% right. Uh, it made our game a lot better. Did that answer your question? It did, yes. So, how much content was in early access in terms of uh, how long it's going to take people to necessarily get through the game? I know that's a kind of sliding scale depending on you know, where people go, what people do, but how much was there and how much is there now? Um, the early access is, uh, was just the first town and the areas around it. Uh, it was good for about 20 to 30 hours of gameplay. Hold on, somebody's trying to tell me something. I need to change the sounds again. I ruined the sound, they said. <laughs> I know, the sounds are still too strong, actually. Yeah, sorry about that. And um, so what we're shipping now is... Um, there's basically four large areas. So the thing that was in early access is the one large area. And then th there's about ten... Well, it's, it sounds wrong if I say areas or maps. That's not really... It doesn't really do it justice. If you play the early access version, then you know that the area that we have here is pretty dense and uh, that density continues into all the other areas. So I expect people will play between 50 to 100 hours depending on their style of play. That's pretty much, and uh, that's for you. Wow. There's a staff in there which you might oh, find. okay. So if you press control on the ground, by the way, you can actually uh, attack the ground. Uh, well, I'm doing it now with my um, with my knife, so that doesn't make sense. But you have an, I guess it's an electricity staff or an earth staff. So and uh, I have an earth staff, yeah. All right, and I just you just took a fire staff, I think. So uh, an now, air staff. An I've air got. staff. Okay, yeah. well then, if we, I'm gonna break this barrel here, and well, I'll do it again. So if you now do it with on the ground, can you try control clicking the ground? Just go ahead. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm stunned. Uh, yeah, but if you stand outside of the water, try it again now, just standing next to the water. Whoa. Okay. There you go. So if an enemy now walks into that, he'll be stunned also. Nice. And how um, much has been made of these kind of mechanics? How you can... Uh, chain them together, combo them together, how uh, how puzzly does it get? Let's go find out, shall we? Uh, quite quite a lot, actually, and it continues all the way until the end. That's the thing I'm probably the proudest of in this game. And there's really... Uh, I think that uh, one of the, the parts that we wanted to achieve with the game is that you weren't going to be bored because we you had to start grinding or start seeing a repetition of patterns. And uh, I think that we really achieved that all the way until the end. I mean, you're going to have... Let's call it like a a, a, um, a, a best of uh, all kinds of old school RPG mechanics uh, that you're going to be uh, seeing, going from hard uh, dungeons to, to to puzzle through, to things that really use the mechanics of the game, uh, to figuring out uh, how the hell are you going to defeat uh, creatures which are by all means uh, stronger than you and still managing to do that and then get that feeling like yes I managed to do that. So it's uh, a lot has been done with those mechanics. But you'll find out as you play through. So we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll just let you do this fight on your own and we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh oh. Unfortunately, I didn't activate the flee point yet, so I can't flee. Otherwise, I would just cowardly leave you here behind and we would see what would, uh, would be happening. You monster. Um, so, how many people can play? Can four people play together? Uh, what you're seeing now is the main campaign. The main campaign is uh, cooperative play for two players. So it's like a real like a long campaign for two players, which is, we think, the most common scenario. Uh, but we also have... Um, hold on, let me just hasten myself. Let's see, I can, uh, but I can get there. All right, so let's do that. Uh, but I'm going to go over... Ah, I'll do that. Okay, so... Um, the modding tool which is shipping with the game, the, so the Divinity Engine Toolkit, that one allows uh, you for making scenarios for up to four players. And we're actually we're shipping that uh, Silly Cow Simulator with it. Uh, that yeah, turned so into a full-fledged four-player PvP co-op uh, thing uh, in tutorials that we're going to be releasing um, in the next couple of weeks where we'll show people how to use the editor. But you can make we've played the campaign that you're playing here with four players, so we have a mod that does that already. Okay. And the reason we're not doing it as a base thing is because yeah. the dialogues have all been written for basically two main players. 
Uh, but you can have like four players and uh, two of them being henchmen or companions, like we can also hire. And then uh, that would be that. You know? That's pretty cool actually to play with four players because it's, uh, yeah, it's a rare thing, this, um, this type of story or driven RPG in which you can play together. There's a I'm standing in oil, by the way, so if okay. you find any fire, we could light it. And you can do your little electricity trick on the blot that you're seeing here. So we could have had uh, something that made them... Oh, I have those with me? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna send them to you. Uh, you should wear those things. Okay. What are you sending me? Sorry. If you check your inventory, you'll find out that I sent you a nice bunch of trunks, which belong to a famous wizard. They're okay. They're demonic trunks, and if you wear them, they will make comments about all kinds of things that you're doing. Okay. I have put those on now. Excellent. I don't have any fire spells, so. Uh, yeah, well then we will have to do it without fire, right? I don't have any either. Maybe we should make something that does fire, but there's I don't see anything here. All right, I'll uh, we'll continue to do so. Okay. Are you managing to kill? Not very good, your spider. No. Oh, there we go. Dead. The meat shield. But we left okay. it up. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting beaten up. Yeah, it's not uncommon to die in the game, so you really need to be careful and monitor your health. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go try and go kill those guys. What do I have still? We don't have anything right now, but I can maybe. Uh, I'm too far. And now, of course, with the oil that I created, if I walk in the oil, I'll be slowed. So, I'm going to walk so I can I can level up now. Is that right? Yeah, you can basically if you press the I button, then you're going to be able to see um, all of your stats. Okay. And uh, so, like for instance, I'm going to increase my perception actually because I think perception is very much. Any advice on on what I should level up as a as a witch? My uh, my nose. Should I get a bigger nose? I think intelligence always makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, speed also makes sense because you get more action points in combat. Um, you can obviously on the abilities. I would. Uh, you can. Well, you can. It's basically a, a class free system, right? So you can do whatever you want. Right now, you don't have a lot of points, so you could uh, like multi class. Okay. Uh, or you could uh, save your ability points uh, to increase your witchcraft. Okay, I might save them in that case. Okay, I'm gonna do pyrokinetics so that we're gonna get some fire spells once we find okay. some cash, and uh, but then it's up to you. Alright, so that was an attack of opportunity. The guy tried to leave away, and uh, that guard clearly had an attack of opportunity ability uh, which he could use. So we are level 2 now. What, how, what level does it go up to? Well, it levels quite slowly actually, it's just at the beginning that it levels fast because it goes up to level 20. Okay. And at the very endings, pretty much like in an AD&D game, it's really slow to, to level up. Uh, we didn't want it to make it a, into a uh, hack and slash fest, so you'll see that the encounters are, uh, well, they're real encounters where you really have to figure out what the tactical uh, challenge is. And uh, there's about, I think, uh, uh, well, there's quite a lot in the game. I'm not going to quote the number because I will be misquoted otherwise. <laughs> uh, but there's a lot of them, and they're, uh, they can be really, really tactical. This is a very simple fight still that we're in here. And we don't have a lot of uh, uh, opportunities yet. But there's many, many ways that we can do this fight. One of them would actually be to, to, to run away and let the guards do everything and then come back and maybe kill the guards, you know? And take the loot that the guards have. So that would also be pe uh, possible. I'm saving my action points. So okay. Then the next uh, turn I can do my thing. I think you guys will manage as well without me. Okay. Right. So, knocked on arrow. Those I'll take that one. had a human commander. And I'm very I'll let curious. You take the poison resistance potion. And disquieting. And I'll check the corpses. Okay, I see there's a magical armor potion over here. Far before. Which will be like useful. There's uh, plenty of ingredients. I don't know if you've ever seen the crafting thing. In the I game. haven't seen any crafting yet. All right, I'm going to send you a lock. All right, and then I'm, if I find a well, I'm going to send you my dagger, but I want it back. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All right, so if you try the dagger on the lock, I guess that would make you... I don't know what it's going to make, but it's going to make you something. In the meantime, I'm going to go get... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you go into town, and I'll go get... I think I've seen... Oh, okay, I see. It made me uh, something. A uh, figurine? Or something else? Ah, how do I, how do I use it on it? Uh, normally... Oh, here we go. Yeah, you just drag them over one another. I don't know what crafting level was required for it. Okay, so it made a, a wooden stake. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's handy. Did you so I can combine any anything, or yeah. Did you, by any chance, pick up the tomato and the hammer? You did, didn't you? Or did uh, I? I didn't pick up a hammer or a tomato. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, a tomato, not a tomato. I found them. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send them to you again. If you bring those two together, you're gonna make what you expect to make. And then I'm going to go back to where those two guards fled to. And uh, you can go into town. I'll join up soon. So I've made some tomato sauce. Lovely. Yeah, so now I need to find what something else for you. What's name happened here? All right. Let me find out. So I'm, I'm basically witnessing a scene. Did you take up some dough by any chance? Do you have that? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I picked up some flour and some water. All right, let's mix them together. I have some dough. Would you like it? No, I would like you to put the tomato, the tomato sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to make a pizza? Well, we'll have to find some an oven somewhere. Pizza, pizza dough. Uh, wow. This game was heavily inspired by a game called Ultima Seven. And baking okay. bread, baking bread was like one of the golden standards that needed to, to, to be ad adhered to. So we started out with pizza basically, but we'll make a bread also, um, and many many other things. Obviously, these are simple uh, things to craft. There's lots of more advanced crafting that you can do also. Okay, I'm just talking to uh, a very nice uh, shirtless guy with white hair next to the. Uh, yeah, I'll just go inside while you're talking to him. I'll, uh, I'll get ourselves into trouble, I guess. Sorcery, sex, undead. Looks like I have my work cut out for me. So there's a, um, a ship which is ah, uh, oh, there's nine inch nails there. You should take the, take them. I <laughs> know uh, oh, you're sitting on it now. Uh, okay, that's uh, 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 oh no. Yeah. I've uh. I've been told off. Really? Uh, well, we can talk about that. <laughs> I think we should be naughty. You think so? Well, I'm a rogue, so obviously I'm going to agree with you. Uh, I'm, I'm a witch. I have to be nasty. Yeah, so. I mean, so there you go. So we've got these traits which are going up, and the game is keeping track of all of them. And uh, based on that, it's going to essentially figure out what our affinity is for one another. And then later okay. on, it's also going to figure out what our affection is for one another. And based on that, you're going to get one out of uh, 20 endings, essentially. Uh, wow, okay. Well, I mean, I make it sound like a lot, but it's, you know, it's variations on the same team. But it makes a difference, though. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of cool, it's kinda, it's kinda cool actually. So these guys here have a problem. I don't know if you can solve it. Come on, man, put your backs into it. Let's have a look. We're gonna need more in a few buckets. So they need some more water. Uh, what did you pick up in the beginning? I picked up um, we're gonna need more than a, few buckets a rain save. scroll. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, we can just leave it like Blast that, and the boat will sink. But you can do your rain scroll fire. on the fire. Just as an ex uh, exercise in making it rain. Hey, uh, you're the hero of the day. Congratulations. Notice Fantastic. that everybody's wet now. And because they're wet, they're going to be much I more... I can use yes. my okay. staff. Here we go. Exactly. Nope. Uh, well, yeah, but it, there's no water. So you need a water surface. If you want, we can attack these uh, guys, but I'm not sure that we're going to survive it. Uh, okay, let's you want maybe to be not pro do that. Properly naughty, we should do it where there's nobody to see us. So we can we can try and doing that. Okay. Let's go find out. You're a witch, right? So yes. You'll probably be able to talk. I think you have pet pal, which is a town which allows you to talk to animals. 
So try, okay. Try uh, Bill and. Uh, yeah. I, I can talk to Bill. Hello, Bill. Yeah. He's telling me a bit about himself. Ah, his brother is uh, can tell my fortune. So uh, he's going to tell me if I will be wealthy. Yes. Uh, will I be lucky in love? Uh, I must rec I must reconcile my mistakes before I make find true love. Mm, he can't tell me about death. No, obviously you're you're going on a grand adventure, so chances are that's a waypoint shrine. And uh, maybe we should uh, try teaming up and stealing something so that we can have a look at how that works. So if we go inside here, um, people are not going to be very happy. The guy obviously has all kinds of loot here behind his magical door. Mm -hmm. uh, but the trick is that we can distract people. Uh, so if I'm trying to enter here, for instance, uh, I'm going to be told off by Sergeant Curtis. So I'll back off. Uh, well, maybe he's Bye. you see that his attitude has One dropped day, towards me, One day, and so um, his attitude is now negative to me. If it gets too negative, he's going to either attack me or have me thrown into jail. So okay. We'll uh, we'll do it with some guys which are lesser badass than he is, uh, but we can first maybe walk in here and have a, another conversation about the uh, meaning of life and death. You shouldn't en en enter conversation with uh, one of these guys here. See what happens. Goodbye. Wow, they just said goodbye. Okay. Oops. Here we go. Oh, a love potion. Okay. We gave a love potion to the orc, basically. All right. She's she's got to be put down. Really. Um, no, <laughs> we're going to discuss about this. I am going to charm you. Yeah, well, in that case, I'm a rogue, right? So, I'm going to love potion. Uh, I think reasoning will be the best one. So, we see a little game of rock, paper, scissors here. And if you tooltip over uh, charm or reason, you will see that okay. we... We could get a bonus from our charisma, but we're both not very charismatic. And <laughs> we could also have had a bonus from the situation. So in this particular situation, there was no situation bonus. But some situations, it makes more sense that to reason than to charm and so forth. And so uh, we would get, um, yeah, we would get uh, a bonus again on that. And so the purpose of this mi particular mini game is to win at uh, rock paper scissors. So I'm not going to say what I did, but obviously, if you're watching the stream, you're seeing what I'm doing. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's see what happens again. Ah! Yeah, of course. All right. So let's see again. Ah, I should have known. So. I've got you now. Ah! Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's painful. You're watching the stream, aren't you? <laughs> I'll do a fake. Uh, I am actually uh, watching the screen, but I'm not watching what you're doing, uh, so... Okay. Right. So we did this because it... it ah, sh... Alright, 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 we'll do it your way. Right. You won the argument. So, Fantastic. rather than just throw a dice, we, did, we put this in there. And initially it was like meant as a joke, but it turned out that actually quite a lot of people liked it. And so, uh, other than a dice roll, we, we, we left it in there. And if you want to do a dice roll, you, you just press no the space bar, which acts like a dice roll then. But okay. You still get the bonuses from your charisma and from your um, you situation bonus. So, well, this will have consequences. Okay. Right. So I'm going to go and try and get myself into trouble and then I'm going to count on you to, to, to save today. <laughs> so there's absolutely no need to stay together. I'm doing it now because of the stream. Okay. But uh, we can, um, if you follow me, I'm going to take a quick shortcut and then uh, we'll get into to some more advanced play. I'm just showing you some of the features that you may miss uh, when you're playing, uh, which you will eventually figure out uh, as you're playing with it. Trying to condense it a little bit for the purpose of the stream. So, um, if you don't have a friend to play with, let's say, 
Well, well, is it going to make any difference? Can you go through the game just fine on your own? I mean, I know mechanically you can, but will you be missing out if you don't play with a friend? No. You're basically in full control of the party then. And uh, you... I mean, I think that 80% of people played single player. So okay. have a look at uh, the reviews on Steam Early Access, you'll see that uh, a lot of people enjoyed playing in single player. So it's really... Um, Let's see. Um, I will have to decide about the fish here. So I'm sorry for the purpose of the stream. Uh, the guy stole a fish, and uh, well, he asked if it was okay. We said it was okay because he has a poor family. And now the guards are telling, uh, catch, uh, caught him, and so I'm gonna tell him that you know he's a damned liar. He stole it, but we just told him to steal it. All right. So I don't know what you're gonna do, but. <laughs> Alright, we agreed on that. <laughs> so he's, the poor lad is now going to go into jail. Speaking of jail, we should definitely do the jail at some point. But um, we're going to... So we're here to investigate the murder of Councillor Jake. Jake is a, um, is a dead guy right now. Okay. And... Um, he, um, Oh, are you going to do that? Okay, alright. Will, 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 will anything happen if I put a spider here? Not yet, but if you do, for instance, hold on, let me save the game. And let's just see what happens if I do, like, you know, I don't know, maybe... Oh, well, you know what, I'm, I'm a thief, right? So, <laughs> so can I... First, I'm going to try to sneak somewhere. Uh, have you seen the sneaking mechanic? I have. Uh, well, I've, I've seen the uh, the barrel on the... Uh, All right, it depends on where you are, actually. I think uh, it's, this, this here would be a rock. So if I'm, this is a shopkeeper. So if you try, maybe you should try just... Uh, yeah, you can't sneak if people see you. Okay. Just try sta stealing that bread, for instance. All right. So she... So, okay. Oh, she's still okay. She's a trader, right? So traders think that maybe you will buy it from them. Okay. Let's go inside here at the mayor's office. Did you play Ultima by any chance? Uh, I played Ultima online, but, but oh, none, none right, of the singles. You're slightly familiar with this type of mechanic. If you look under this flower pot here, the guy has... Uh, I'll show you. Ah, uh, he stole it. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so under the flower pot lies a key. The key opens that door to the living area. If you take it... Uh, he's yeah, he's, uh, so he's going to in increasingly wow. mad at us. Okay, so we can go in here with this. Yeah, and he should. Uh, is it, does he see it? Just go ahead. Okay. Guys. Oops. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So tell them that you Pretty want to go to jail. That you you don't agree, and then so say no, and then say yes. Okay. All right, you're go you're off my screen, ladies and gentlemen. This was Sven Winke together with Robert. I can play on my own now because Robert is stuck in jail somewhere. <laughs> so I'll organize I'm in my a jailbreak. Underpants. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in my underpants in jail. Yeah, they took everything away from you. So I'm gonna come towards you and I'll try to save you. You in the meantime can try to figure out how the hell can you get out of there. Oops, took the wrong way. You making new friends? I am. I've met some kind of uh, prison demon. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a bad deal, Robert. It's a very bad deal. Don't do it. Oh, hmm. Let's make a deal. <laughs> so I'm on my way to you. Did you make the deal? Oh, I've got to give him something. I've got to give him some of my strength. There we go. You did? Yes. Really? Have you played this type of game before? <laughs> <laughs> I, here I am in my underpants. Yeah, you'll need to get dressed. I mean, there's a. I think we have an age rating on the Twitch stream. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's one way of getting out. So basically what you did is you made a deal with a prison demon and he promised to release you in exchange for your strength. Which makes you very so weak, I guess. All right, well, that works. So there's an entire stealing mechanic, uh, sneaking mechanic. People can see you. Like we're here now. We should have been here actually, because that's wizard invited us here, so we can go and uh, pay him a visit. He's upstairs here. So you can take the brooms, equip them as a weapon if you want. Um, 
can just go upstairs. Alright, do I have here? So the wizard happens to be a talking cat. Uh, sorry, a, um, a a lover of cats, and he likes to polymorph himself into a, a white cat. So uh, he is, uh, we had some lag there, he is uh, Arhu here, and so he has a very cool, uh, oh, they moved it away, there used to be a very cool box, uh, he has a magical unlock scroll over there. Alright, so before you take it, let me distract him, okay? Okay. So I'm going to talk to him. So he's going to be watching me. And if you sneak now, he shouldn't see you. Sneak, please. Ah, oh, oh. Do sneak. There you go. So plunder him dr completely. Or I don't know how you say that in English. And I'll just keep on talking to him. Okay. So yes, we're source hunters on serious business here. Your place is going to be empty. So you can also do this in single player. <laughs> then you just switch between characters. So that's to answer your previous question. If there's okay. Okay. You just click on the portrait, and we'll go get um, uh, some companions, and then I'll show you how that works. We're okay? Good to go? Yeah, yeah I've, got, I've got some things. All right. So, um, do, can you send me stuff? I would like to buy a fire spell. He has a... Um, well, mm, I need a flare skill. What would you like? How much can I choose? How much money? Oh, I, I see. I need 240, hold on, it's a bartering system, so I need 550, so bartering, there's inflation in the game, they have an, um, inflate the prices also, so, okay. but I'm bartering with him for something which is 557 gold. Which is I've awesome. sent you, I've sent you all the gold that I have, Good. so. See, this is, uh, now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I made a deal with him for a sword and some gold, and he accepted my offer. And that means that I can now use my new pyrokinetic uh, skill. So I'm going to learn the skill. He had a lot of skill books to offer. And I can okay. flare, you see? So I can basically do, put you on fire and all that stuff. So that's going to help us whenever we find oil. And you learn the recipe, I think. Yes. Okay. So. And some crafting, I think. Good. I'm on. Uh, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm killing myself with my fire. I put myself on fire, so I need to to heal myself a bit. <laughs> so, so let's go find some friends and try some combat. So it's a it's a vast world to explore. I mean, uh, you will find little things in every single nook and cranny uh, as you walk through the game, basically. Um, let's see which way is it. Yeah, we can go this way. How um. How big are the? How dramatic are the enemy encounters? I mean, we've we've fought a couple of guards so far. How big and how big and crazy does it? It gets. Uh, we'll, we'll, get. we'll go get some. Well, let's find. I mean, obviously we're in the beginning of the game, right? So yes. we'll go find uh, one of the more crazier enemies. But uh, you're going to get some interesting encounters for sure. Uh, promised. There's a uh, there's tough guys in there. You will be fighting anything from. Uh, well, I guess I can say now because it'll be out there on the internet very soon. Uh, anything from dragons to snowmen. Uh, so you got your uh, classical fantasy uh, uh, creatures in there. Sorry, we have to go into the library. And uh, you've got uh, some things which are a little bit out of the ordinary in there also. I'm particularly fond of the snowmen. There's an ice world in the game. So at some point you go to uh, an entire ice uh, area. And uh, you can make this guy your friend, Jahan, here. If you go upstairs, and uh, there's there's snowmen there, but there's also rabbits, and the rabbits can steal the snowmen's noses because they're carrots. It's, ca it's rather cool. Uh, well, anyway, you'll see it when you see it. It sounds strange when I say it. We need to agree on uh, hiring this guy. Okay. Alright, agreed. Nef nothing ever good came from bargaining. So we agreed to not deal with demons. Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> what did you just so, do? <laughs> uh, well, you know, no one has to know. No one has to right. know about that. That can be that can be our secret. Okay, I got there pissed off because I'm trying to look. We need permission to look in the library. I'll ask permission oh, okay. of uh, Victoria here. She's a librarian. She's an orc who was found as an infant. And raised by the mayor, he's very proud of it. And I'll ask her permission to take books from the library. So Bye. now we should be okay to take whatever's in that in those. Um, at least I'm okay. And wouldn't you know it, she has. You know, I'm gonna let you take. Well, I'll send Greetings. it to you. What do you mean? I can't take uh -huh. that. Okay. Well, that was a little <laughs> bit too much. All right. Well, we have one companion, 
and he, you can now drag the companion, um, his icon, and connect it to your icon on the left side. Can you try that? Yeah, yeah I'm trying. In the meantime, I'll go and get uh, myself. I see the I see the chain, but it doesn't quite connect. Ah, oh, he's too far away. I see. I'll go get my companion, so that way we each control companion. Farewell. Oh, Will he still be upstairs? Try not to get Ah, oh, yeah, here he is. Greetings. <laughs> All right. What do you mean by enemy? So I agreed on on my own without you there. Uh, to hire Madora. So the game doesn't allow, do the cooperative dialogues or the decisions if we are far away from each other. So that means that you have to uh, deal with the consequences of my actions, basically. Okay. So we both have a little party, so I guess that it's time to go and find some uh, some adventure. Um, experiencing some lag here, but it seems to be okay. So, what what's next for you guys now? I mean, you have the, the editor, um, are you going to leave the game in the community's hands after you release it now, or do you plan on releasing more content, expansions? Uh, we're going to work further on it. So this so editor is, uh, if you take, can you take a shovel and then an pick a grave somewhere? Um, we're going to keep on working on supporting the editor, because the, the editor is a tool that we use to make the game. So okay. everything you've seen has been done with the same editor, so they can make the similar game if they want. And uh, we are going to expand on it. All that digging and there's nothing here. Can you try to dig on the thing itself? <laughs> there's the thing that highlights. You can <laughs> dig anywhere, basically. But <laughs> and so you could try an e-grave, but uh, this one will do. It's a nice one. Let's go in there. Ah, here we go. So notice that this is one of those things, you know. You will never see this sometime. I, you might completely miss this. And if you do it, you will be rewarded for your exploration. And the game really tries to to bring that type of gameplay. Now, to continue answering your question, I'll let you go... Uh, well, actually, I have the the knight, so I'll let my knight go in front. Then we'll see what happens. Um, to continue answering your question, yeah, we're going to do things, more things with this engine, for sure. It's very powerful, and this uh, cooperative multiplayer story RPGing, it's a lot of fun, actually. I really like it. Uh, so I think there's a lot that, that's to be done there, because it brings you very close to that, uh, as I said, pen and paper feeling. Pen on paper RPG feeling. All right, so we're dealing with uh, a couple of simple skeletons and an undead mage. And my rogue is now capable of doing fire, and but there's no oil here, unfortunately. So I'm going to send in my Madora character with a rush. Okay. Okay, so she's going to take the brunt of the attack while we're going to be channeling from a distance, and my rogue is going to go invisible and go behind. Okay, if you're going to do that, uh, I'm going to buff you up. That's right. so that's and then I'm going to chuck a fireball. I'm a bit far away, I think. So maybe I'll move closer. And then this person has, let's see, lots of things. Create water surfaces. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea, given your uh, electricity that you have. Alright. Good. Okay, and then... So now if you can cast lightning on that, that would be good. So he doesn't have... Doesn't he have a lightning spell? Any lightning? Ah. Okay. But your uh, witch has. Or at least she can... Yeah, she's... So She's had her go. But. So what you can do is you have this Staff of Magus spell. You, do, you remember the, how I had you uh, hit the, the ground with your staff? Yes. What you could do now is you could uh, just shoot with your staff at the water, also by uh, clicking Control and on the water, once it's okay. your turn, and then uh, it's going to have the same impact, because it's electricity okay. coming out of the staff. Alright, that works too. Yeah, because it's wet, they're wet, that's going to be more effective. Okay. Freezing, so you have a higher chance that it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to go fast track and I'm going to go. I'm going to go start attacking you. And I think I'm just standing outside of the water, which is perfect. I missed. Uh, Madora is in the water, so if she moves away, she's going to have two attacks of opportunity, so that's uncool. Uh, but I'm going to put the first pistol on her. Right, so he can't move anymore. 
So now I only have one attack of opportunity, and since it's a mage he's gonna, and I'm a warrior, it doesn't really hurt. So if you now can do your devastating uh, lightning attack, we should be all good to go. So I... Mages to launch magical missile, is that correct? Yeah. No? Yeah, stuff of mages. Yeah. But you're blocked, you should check the... Uh, you're, you're behind the uh, crate there. So you should move out of there. Objects do block you. So you get a preview normally uh, that shows you where you're going to hit. Whoops. Oh, well, I don't look like I can do much more for now. It's okay to save up action points, and sometimes you have spells which really take a lot of action. Oh, well, that's successful. Very successful. You stunned my rogue. <laughs> okay, so she can hit him from afar. Ah, I walked into it. All right, well, you're, uh, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> uh, right, that wasn't very good. No, 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 we'll, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right. Okay. Everybody's still stunned. Well, that's a way of managing this battle. Stunning your entire party. <laughs> and that's bleeding, right? So you're trying to bleed the skeleton, but they, they are... Yeah, that, that's, that's not well. Right, so your Jehan, what's he going to do? So they're still stunned? If I use the lightning bolt, will that still... It will have an effect. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, my rogue thanks you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I did that. All right. That was a uh, was that a head vice? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. So please don't stun uh, electrify the water again. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> All right. And okay. okay. Is that everything? Oh no, one more. Fantastic. And we have one so on the floor. Go ahead. Who? Do you have for uh, to move this game onto any other platform at all? It's available for Mac. <laughs> I'm trying to bleed the skeleton again. But, uh, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how it goes. You know, we have no clue. I mean, it's a turn-based old-school <laughs> RPG. We have no clue how it's going to do. If it turns out to be popular, most likely we will look at other platforms. Uh, if not, well, then we'll just we like it ourselves uh, and. To be fair, it's been doing quite well already, so uh, chances are that we'll do something on other platforms with it. Do you have a pick by any chance? Um, I have a hammer. I don't have a pick. Okay. All right. That was our uh, PR who had a clever ID. Ooh, I found an unidentified ring, and I believe I'm going to send it to you. Okay. I believe you have identification as a skill. Ah, but you don't have a looking glass, I guess. Oops. No, no looking glass. All right. If you take a look to the left, you'll see a guy with a cigar in his in his mouth. I think he has a cigar, actually. He had one on the concept art. Uh, but don't go too close so that he doesn't see us. So I'll try to backstab him first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split apart my uh, my ranger. And he's going to go in on his own. Oh, Jesus. All right. So as I was trying to explain what I was going to do, I did it really <laughs> stupidly. <laughs> so this guy is bad against... Uh, uh, all right. Well, you know what? How about that? Uh, so I guess most importantly, how are you feeling about Belgium's chances in the World Cup? <laughs> uh, they haven't been playing that well so far, but they've been winning. Yes. Uh, so winning is a virtue on its own, and they haven't lost in a long time. So uh, at least not when it was competitive. So I think they have actually a pretty high chance of uh, defeating US. We have a uh, Dutch guys in the office, and so pretty much uh, our prediction is that it's a half final Belgium Holland. Then Holland goes home, and we go to the finals. That's pretty much the plan. Uh, you guys haven't had uh, that much luck, though. <laughs> no. You brought it up first. <laughs> It's like, you know, it's like a little bit like it's an English team, the Belgian team, you know, there's that many guys playing in the Premier Cup already that are in the team. Yeah. You got uh, Azar and company 
And um, oh yeah, Courtois. I, I, I don't think he's going to Chelsea. He'll be you know, staying. Actually, he hasn't said what he's going to be doing. So we think we have a good chance. Yeah, it'd be nice to see them playing well together. Oh, okay. So he's uh, burning you. Yeah. And um, but I'm I'm trying to. I don't. If I walk in shadows, he's not going to see me. So my plan was to backstab him. I have talent which does plenty of damage when I'm backstabbing him. So I'm going to need a little bit more. And so how um how much choice do people? It's a classless system, but how different can do you think people will follow similar builds with their characters, or do you think people are getting absolutely not? You're going to see. Okay. Yeah, we've seen on the early access and initially. I mean, that's another one of you asked me. Uh, what changed as a result of early access? I think pl uh, plenty of skills and talents and abilities uh, changed dramatically during uh, early access. We even changed the system because we saw that people were, at first they were making too much spe uh, spe specialized builds. So basically what the thing you were saying. Yeah. And then we started ch changing the rules. Then we saw that they were making too many hybrid builds. And then we just, you know, we iterated until we saw that they were making all kinds of combinations and telling us all kinds of stories of how they defeated certain challenges. I mean, you have, uh, well, obviously you haven't played it, but there, there it's amazing how many uh, builds people come up with and how they uh, abuse the systemics of the RPG that's in here. Because your Jayhan here has a teleport skill, I think. You should try fooling around with the teleporting on the skeletons. So okay. You can just tell, if we would have, like, say, you have a puddle of water there behind you, I think, right? No. If you make a puddle of water somewhere and you electrify it, then we can teleport that skeletal scorcher in it, for instance. That's just one okay. tactic. Or you could teleport my Madora to the back of the scene uh, closer to those undead swordsmen, and uh, then you, I can do plenty of damage like that. You can burn down the doors. Now we should uh, maybe visit a trap dungeon uh, before we close off the stream. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Yeah, we can do that. And then we'll see some of the system. Uh, he does have a teleport scroll. Oh. Or not enough action points, apparently. So you need to save up. Ah, okay. I will do that. So let's let's put it this way. Don't think that if you've played it for an hour that you've seen like most of the game already. I think is a, is a fair thing to say. And is there any opportunity for players to fight players? Uh, not in the main campaign. Although I could obviously kill you. Um, well, I mean, you say obviously. <laughs> well, I need a healing potion. Actually, <laughs> I'm not doing that well. Oh, I've got some. Uh, I've got a heal spell. Oh well, okay, but I don't want to risk it right now. So, I'm going to. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be. Okay, let me show you one of the mechanics that happens in co-op. All right. Okay. Goodbye, Robert. Oh, he's gone. Yes, I am now in town, hmm. and I'm running. I'm playing in real time now. So you're still in combat. And I can now jump, but now I'm controlling Madora. So my one character is in town, could go and buy stuff and send it to you, whereas she is going to go and uh, continue helping you in combat. Okay, that's nice and fair. So it's... Uh, oh, she's good. Alright. Although she's in fire also. Uh, my witch can't do a lot, she's a bit... She's not really good. Skills. You need to get the skills for her. She can become incredibly powerful. But she is, uh, right now, she's a little bit weak. Right. Why did you do that? I uh, oh, teleported all right, all right, someone. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. But you can, you can really do a lot of things with the teleport and the combinations of elements with it. There's plenty of puzzles which are built around it also. You get teleporter pyramids. Uh, well, we can, maybe we can get those. We still have like a little bit of time because we started so late. I can show you a couple of those things. Maybe we can go to the end of time and see who wins the World Cup. <laughs> who do you think will win the World Cup? Uh, Belgium, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know. I, I really hope it's not going to be the Dutch, to be honest. But uh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, well, if, it, if Belgium is out, then I hope it's the Dutch, I guess. Uh, although, you know, is that Austin Bauer today? There's uh, two things I hate in the world. It's people intolerant of other people's cultures, and then obviously there's the Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Ooh, Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you very much.
Did you just Thank teleport you. a... Uh, what did you teleport, anyway? Ah, you teleported the guy. Yes. Uh, so My I teleport teleport has uh, recharged. Yes, so could you kindly resurrect me? You have a resurrect scroll? I do. Let me uh, just... I know that I was my other character wasn't that nice. So... I'm going to... <laughs> so I could now assign her to you so that you are controlling her. Uh, yeah, you could have teleported. You could have, you could have actually teleported me not in the fire, you know, when the resurrect. <laughs> so they also dropped. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to do it when you mentioned it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to die here, right? Thank you. You know how much a she resurrection scroll costs. All right, thank you. There oh, we go. she has a talent which helps her resist death. So that's pretty good. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, we managed to successfully do that thing. So maybe you want to take the stuff that's there, and then we should proceed over here. But we're gonna need the rope. I think. Oh, I'm standing in the fire. And you're on. But if you make it rain, the fire will go away. I'm gonna rejoin the group with my uh, with my uh, um, my rogue while you guys are there. I'll let you explore for a second. Um, where is that? Uh, it's over here. All right. Okay. So let me just see if that's going as planned. Uh, map. Yeah, she's moving there. And so then I'm gonna go back to my door and see. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Right there. There's an interesting place over here Where to the you? south. Might be worthwhile coming over there. I have a minor heal scroll and a hindering arrow. Do you still have resurrection scrolls, actually? I have one. Alright, I'll let you proceed then. Oh, Oops. you saw it. Alright, that's good. So, you saw that trap because you have a character in your party which has a perception that's high enough to see it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have seen it, and then the entire time. Ah, Jesus, Robert! <laughs> 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 All right. So, what happened here? You see some steam. So we burned some water. There must have been a water barrel there. And then obviously, ah, uh, there you go. You're, you're getting triple six. There we go. Whoa. What was he thinking? Okay. All right. So stuff burns. Do you have a resurrection scroll? Okay, I'm gonna send it. Do, yeah. Okay. So, they're expensive. Alright, so they're like little uh, lives in Mario. Don't, don't waste that. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, she's stuck in an animation by the looks of things. But that's probably okay. uh, that happens when there's some lag. Um, let me get. My rogue just arrived back into. Uh, so, my rogue was in town. And I'm now sending him to meet up with us. So okay. okay. And then we can proceed. Eh? That's also very much the, the way it's intended to be played. Eh? Group up together, gr go away, and um, I just abuse the mechanics of the game. Where's my rook? So someone mentioned in the chat just now, uh, they mentioned, I'm ready to donate to Larian's next Kickstarter right now. <laughs> Thank you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Kickstarter now? Because I, I feel like Kickstarter's momentum has, has run out a little bit, but um, what, what do you think? Would you go back to Kickstarter? I, for us, it's been incredible. Uh, so some poison. Uh, if I put fire on the poison, then uh, we're going to make it explode. I just missed it. I missed it. I'll do it again. So would I go back to Kickstarter? I think so. I think that uh, for a studio like us, it's given us the one thing that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. Uh, it was not necessarily the finances, it was the visibility that we needed. Uh, the visibility made it possible for us uh, to... Uh, oh, sorry. So it put fire on it, then it is, there you go. Um, it made it possible to... Hold on, I have... Oh, yeah. I have to call them. Oh, goodness. <laughs> there we go again. Uh, it'll, it'll burn out normally. If you leave it burning, it will go away. Or you could teleport somebody over it. Ah! Uh, 
so it's also a way of dealing with the tricks. Alright. Oh, <laughs> shit, I know it's poisons. <laughs> Do you have a poison uh, resistance thing? Uh, uh yes. Yeah. I will... So yeah, short, uh, short version of it, uh, I would. Uh, probably I would ad address it a little bit differently than we did. Uh, I think we gave a little bit too many backer rewards, to be honest, because there was a lot of work to put them all in. And it, take, it took away a little bit from our core business, which was uh, creating the game. Uh, on the other hand, the backers have been uh, probably the most this game in helping us shape it. Oh, I found an identif an identification glass. I'm going to send it to you. It should be in your inventory. Ah, uh, So we can finally you. figure out what the ring is. Um, so yeah, I mean, strictly for the finances, it's made a bit of a difference, but we're 35 people, so you're not going to get very far for a long time, even on the amount of money that we got. Uh, it gives a bit of constitution. There we go. Constitution ring. Uh, well, that's that's. I think that's good for a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, take it off there. Right. Oh, I should have given it. So what's? All right, you looted everything already, all right? Oh no. Uh, yeah, probably. We should be healed up before we go up, and I'll make a save game. So remember, we just went into a dungeon here, uh, which probably, like, or very likely you may not have found it. Well, actually, in this particular case, probably you'll find it because it has a big ring around it. But there's plenty of this kind of stuff in the world, and some of them are even hidden behind a perception check. Uh, a little bit more healing. When I was talking about the healing, I also meant the other side of your party, which is me. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. I'll just, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll heal the other lady as well once it cools down. Alright. Yeah, we're okay. It takes some turns then, so they'll heal up, so it's fine. Alright, let's go up and see what happens. Oh, we're here, we're in the wrong place. Okay, well, that's cool. We found a way to that chest which uh, we missed as we were beginning. But if you would have used your J-Hand, you could have teleported the chest over the wall. You can try that actually. Okay. So Shall I try that now? Yeah, you can if you want. Or you could even teleport one of us over the wall. Uh. Uh, you might not see it. Because you're there you go. Not the rogue. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, all right, all right. So we should go down again. There was another way there, uh, but maybe... Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, let's go. And we're gonna go... North? Wait a minute, I lost my way in this. Let me just check the auto map. I wanted to show you one last thing here. Uh, shows you a little bit of the mechanics. It's a, it's a trap dungeon, you know, like uh, old school... Uh, traps and how how difficult is the game uh, in general? Because it's hard. I <laughs> oh, you can talk to the rats over there. They can tell you stuff. Okay, Every single rat in the game has a different line. <laughs> wow, there's 200 rats. <laughs> I don't know. There's more than 200 rats, I think. Really, there's a key here. Look at that. I never knew that. <laughs> That's the first time I see it. I've never noticed it. All right. Hold! Our enemies have laid a trap. Okay. So, our enemies have laid a trap. That big thing over there, you shouldn't walk on it. So, I'll let you figure it out and we'll watch you we'll, uh, watch you deal with it. Which which big thing, sorry? The big thing at your feet, do you see it? Oh, okay. That one, the one that says big. Ah, right, okay. Let's just... <laughs> Quick, water. Yeah, but that's not gonna help us. There's fireballs going around here, so... Uh, Alright. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you do. I'm following you. Everybody's following you. Hold! Our enemies are made trapped. Of course, you, 
can move objects, right? You can drag them away if you're strong enough. Ah! And if you have telekinesis, then you can use your mind, your intelligence to dra drag them away. And if, well, you can also do it that way. <laughs> I can just, uh... Can I? No. Okay. Very fine. I was trying to teleport someone on the other side of the door. No, but what you can do is can put the uh, door on fire, for instance. I'll try to make it to you. Did I? I know I didn't give it to you. Hold on. I'm going to paste um, myself. And then I'm going to try to. So you could have teleported us over the traps. No. Oh, okay. I could have done that. I can do that if you like. No, that's okay. I'm I'm hasted, so I'm here. With I'm invading everything. Alright, so I got my meager fire spell, so let me try to put the door on fire. I don't know how strong the door is. Oh, I don't need caching fire, so that's not good. But I have a key also, right? Oh, not the key to the door. Uh, who had the key actually? The door had it? No, she doesn't. That's not the way to do it. So there has to be another way here. Now we have to go and search. So she goes here. Can she walk there? Ah, uh, what's this? A steam cloud arrow. I think there's, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, I've got. You managed? Got a uh, magical unlock. So. Alright, that works. Did you know that there are only 10 magical unlocks scrolled in the game? Oh, I didn't know that, no. No, but no, no. And. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I'm standing just next to it. Something there. Ah. The amazing part is I actually don't remember this. Someone asked. Uh, someone asked in the chat. They say they're curious of what the total budget was. How much did you raise on Kickstarter, and, and how how much was that in, in, in terms and, of what uh, you? The total budget on Kickstarter was one million dollars, and our total budget for making the game was approximately the same as a uh, Eternity, I think, which is around four million. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. That's wow. Pretty okay. Pretty much our budget. So. Uh, so that was raised dominantly with uh, early access sales, some of our own money when we started out. But uh, our, our, our initial budget was ridiculously, ridiculously low, actually. Do you have any expectations of what you think the game? Did the game sell quite a lot on early access, or are you yeah, expecting it's been lots of best-selling game so far? So we've never had a game that sold uh, this much that fast. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty cool to see that an old-school turn-based RPG can do that. Uh, so that's why, obviously, uh, we're planning on supporting it uh, the hell out of it. Yeah. Well, con congratulations. Thank you. It's, so I'm destroying the door, which is a very tedious way of doing it. Um, so I obviously, I had the key also. No, somebody had the key. Madora had the key. She found the key. Didn't she find the key? There she is. There you go. So she searched and found the key. We're making progress in the world. I've sent her uh, a new sword, by the way. You did? Alright. No, she shall equip Yeah. It is better than she has, but it has a penalty and it requ requires 9 strength, so she can't wear it yet. The journal there, which has some lore about what this place is, why it's there. So I shall go upstairs and let's see if we can get out of here. So we're back in Thysiel. Thysiel being the place where we have many things about the use melt. Alright. Found a skill book here for creation. Can we do all I found things? something. Ah, you found a, uh, I, f I did a perception check on something, but I didn't really pay attention, so we found an object which wasn't there before a ruby. You see that ruby? That okay. Thing? Yeah, that's a ruby he found because of his very high perception, otherwise, he wouldn't have found it. I was going to hope another ring, an old copper ring. So, old copper rings are things that you can uh, craft and you can do stuff with. I'm trying to find the way out of here. I actually don't remember what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm being told that I have seven minutes left. Uh, so, we should try to get out of that. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to bash in the door. You never know. If it, the door is not. Uh, can I teleport is. someone onto the other side? Only if you can see. Yeah, you need to see the target. If you can see the target, I guess so. But that's probably not working here. Can I have a key? I thought there was a key somewhere. All right. Well, we got some exploration XP, so that's good. Oh, we found a star stone. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one here. Excellent. So, there are these special stones in the game. When you get close to it, something happens to us. And uh, the thing that's happened to, to us is, uh, well, it's about to become clear. I don't know if you've been here before. Robert, did I lose you? I lost him. I'm here. I'm oh. here. Sorry. So I don't know. Have you been here before? You know, I think that. I have not been, been here. here. Right, this is the end of time. Have a look through the looking lens. So the okay. Imp, the imp is really curious about why we are here, and so are we. But he told us that we had to look through the looking lens. So you're invited to do that, and then we can. You can talk to the imp again. I've already done it, so I know. <laughs> Oops, where's he going? Where's the looking glass? Big thing here. Ah, oh, right, okay. <laughs> <coughs> so, lots of people are asking me about the problem with the Kickstarter keys. Uh, that is being sorted out and should actually be sorted out now. Yeah, you just do need to download a little patch which is going to update uh, update uh, the database for all the Kickstarter backers. So long. Uh, you first, you first. I don't think I'll go after you. So this guy is going to give us something really cool. You're watching the maelstrom, I think. Yes. yes. All right. So just click on this portal. Come on, don't be shy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll just let you follow the imp. And then Where in the world are we? We are not in the world at all. So this is your homestead. It's one of the Kickstarter stretch goals, actually. Okay. And it's a shelter plane at the end of time, so it's your home. You can come here at any time. And it uh, serves a, a main function in the storyline, actually. So part of the things that we've done as the game become bigger is we adapted the storyline, and this is place became really central actually, you'll find out uh, while playing. There's a last chest there, which is like, it's the last chest at the end of time, it's, uh, it's a rather interesting chest. So this is my house, that's, that's quite an impressive house. Yeah, and we'll be back here and as we progress through the game it's going to become bigger and bigger. So, so the imp, I'm going to do this for the sake of, I mean, I hope that you will play the game eventually, but uh, I'm going to quickly go through the dialogue here, not to, to bring too much spoilers. Uh, so let me go take my The plot lead. thickens. We should tell the imp the weaver's tale. And so I'm going to tell the imp. Uh, there you go. So, so uh, we unlocked the achievement actually. <laughs> Trick back. And if you look at the right side of your screen, you're going to see that you have a little icon. The rift travel icon. Yes. So with it, we can go back to from where we uh, we came. So if you can to the harbor, yeah, or we can go to uh, the uh, Sicil North. That's maybe a better idea because I want to show you something also. Well, anywhere we'll go, just select one. Okay, to the North Gates, I guess. That's fine, that's fine. I'll join with you. We have to be together to travel like this, so we have to agree. Oh, I need my. I must gather my party. Are we not gathered? Are we not close enough? There you go. Ah, okay. Alright. It's a grand adventure in this uh, shelter plane, so there's lots of stuff to happen. I don't want to spoil it too much. Uh, the Skype quality is a bit... Uh, I don't know if other people are hearing the Skype quality has gone funny, but Skype tends to do this after a little while, but... Uh, Oh, uh, I would re I would reconnect, but it's there's no point now, really. So no, we are, we need to uh, finish um, up in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm being prompted that I have to 
go stream again with no sound, most likely, <laughs> with a guy <laughs> named um, Swiftor. Uh, and he is uh, now also on the front page of Switch, uh, Twitch, apparently. Alright, so Jehan has an opinion about... Um, he's jealous of uh, the imp for having all these nice toys. And uh, so we can discuss about that. Uh, Jay, stop, stop moaning, Jehan. So all our companions have opinions and they're going to be developing their character as we go. Now there's one last thing I want to do. Before we go, I'm going to give you the teleporter pyramid, which is exact gave me. I'm going to drop it on the ground so you see it. You can just pick it up, and then I'll, uh, yeah. There you go. You should use that. Uh, okay. I'll just leave you use. It. All right. So now where is my you're, you're gone now. So we're. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're going to look where you are. All right. So we're watching you through the window. Oh, you're going to charm? That has a, a situation penalty, actually. So you can now rock, paper, scissors against a woman who's sitting in her buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's going on, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but before you get kicked out, do make sure that you pick up the little pyramid which is on the floor. Because that pyramid is uh, the other side of that pyramid. And then we can start giving those pyramids to one another and we can use it to, as a mark and recall system. So I can uh, teleport to you, you can teleport to me, we can throw it over but things, we can teleport now, over things. If you please, this room is private! <laughs> that didn't go very well. So if you want, don't you can attack her, there. then... Go! Uh, away with you! Don't do that, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> so if you now, uh, d if you take one pyramid and you drag it to my, one of my portraits, for instance, or you just right-click on it and send it to me, you can try that out. I sent it to you. Right, you sent both of them to me. Oh, okay, I'm okay. sending one back to you. So if you now use it, you will basically be where I am, you see? Ah, oh, fantastic. And like this, we can do all kinds of neat mechanics also, abuse it to our advantage. <laughs> and, uh, there's plenty of stuff that you can do with it. All right. So voila, there you go, Robert. Uh, Thank you very much. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And that it gave I you a little bit of insight into the game. And that it uh, shows you there's, there's quite a lot of layers uh, there uh, and uh, thank you everybody for buying original sin i'm hearing they just told me that we're number one on steam so that's pretty cool to see fantastic congratulations and thank, thank you, you everyone much. for watching uh, and um I, I understand you're sending me the recording of this is that right oh, i think so uh, i'm looking at krill are we sending the recording of this we are sending the recording of this we'll even probably have sound on it i'm told Fantastic. <laughs> so you'll be able to watch the replay if you want to see me uh, play really badly and try and kill Sven uh, over and over again. Uh, or Eurogamer. But um, until then, I'll let you get on. But thank you very much for joining me. Um, and good luck with the launch of Divinity Original Sin. Thank you very much, man. Take care. Bye-bye.